There is a new wireless cooking thermometer on the market and it's exciting because it's the first to feature four sensors and promises unmatched accuracy. Say hello to the new Meat Stick 4X. So how does this wireless probe stack up and what are my first impressions? Let's dive in. I've been testing out and playing with this thermometer for some time now, and I've been overall very impressed. I've even used it to conduct a little experiment of mine in regards to a myth that's been around for ages. Does steak need to come up to room temperature before cooking it? If you're interested in that video, I'll put it here, so go check it out. But basically, I debunked the myth. You do not need to wait for steak to get up to room temperature. If you pull out a cold steak from the fridge and not a frozen one, you should be good to go. So in this video, I wanted to compare the new Meat Stick 4X to the previous model and do a quick unboxing, give you guys my first impressions, and go over what I love about this thermometer and some of the areas of improvement. Now, I wanted to note, I did receive this unit, which is a pre-production model to test for free, but I was not paid in any way and my thoughts are absolutely my own. But please keep in mind that this is a pre-production model and some of the issues that I ran into and I'm going to highlight in this video may already be fixed by the time this video actually comes out and the final production model is released. I can tell you that the company is committed to improving the product. And while testing this pre-production model, there were several software and firmware updates that were based on user feedback. That's always a really great thing to see. Okay, now let's talk about unboxing and my first impressions. This is basically the unit. It arrives in this little cardboard box. It's packaged fine. You get all the reading material, the stickers and so forth, the registration that you would expect. Really the product's boxing is pretty straightforward and I think it reflects the previous model. You do not get a hard case or anything like that but honestly, it's a single unit and that's pretty much typical. Comparing it to the bundle that I got last year with the bridge and the meat stick mini, that one did come with the hard case, but again, it was a bundle package, which, you know, it makes sense. I would imagine that the company is eventually going to offer the 4X in some kind of a bundle in the future. So look for that. My first impressions are just like with most meat stick probes, the build quality is great. It's actually fantastic. The probe itself is heavy duty and it has a nice weight to it. The company really does invest a lot into the performance and the range of the probe. This probe is no different and I'll get to the range and performance a little bit later. There's one thing I wanted to note. The tip of the probe is really sharp, so be careful not to stab yourself. But I actually really like that. It makes it super easy to slide the probe into your meat. And honestly, there's no resistance and based on what you're cooking, that could be a really nice thing. You don't want your probe to get hung up. The design of the base and the overall unit is very futuristic and that's a personal preference. I know there's some folks that absolutely love this futuristic look, but there's others that prefer wood. My first impressions overall, again, are very positive. There is one thing though. There is nothing that actually distinguishes the Meat Stick 4X from the previous model. The only thing that I really can see that stands out is the 4X label on the base. And there's some red stripes that are missing that are on the previous model. So for example, right here, I got the Meat Stick 4X, the new model. And here's the previous Meat Stick you can pretty much tell that if you were just to take a first glance, they both look identical. Really, it's the 4X logo right here that kind of distinguishes it. But if you're taking the probes out, you really can't tell the difference. This one's obviously the new model, it's pre-production, it's pretty worn out. And here's the previous model. If you look at the back of the probes where the ambient sensor is located, the previous model has some stripes, the new model doesn't. So that could be a problem. I mean, if you have these out, and you're cooking with them, just gotta make sure you keep track of things. I really would have liked to have seen more of a distinguishing design to really highlight that this is a new product. At first glance, they really look identical. And also after using the probe and testing it out, it has discolored a bit. While the other model, the previous model, I've owned for 
more than a year now and it still looks great and in great condition. But again, that could be because it's a pre-production model. So now let's talk about features and really the biggest selling point of the new Meatstick 4X and that would be the four sensors. The company calls it their true temp four sensor design and it's really the first wireless smart meat thermometer to do it. The four sensors provide a more accurate and easy way to measure the coldest temperature of your meat. The probe also features their dual shell design for high durability with a 50 plus hour runtime on a full charge. One of my favorite features is the probe stick and the total wireless range. You are looking at a stick range of 164 feet or 50 meters and up to 33 feet, 10 meters in the oven or grill. The wireless range is up to 650 feet at 200 meters, which is very, very impressive. Now let's talk about some of the things that I've cooked. I've been playing around with this probe and cooking everything and I really wanted to test it out. I've used it on my stovetop, in the oven to cook a rack of lamb, which came out juicy and tender. I've experienced zero issues with the oven and the range was fantastic with no disconnects. I've used it on my gas grill to cook up a couple of ribeye steaks to conduct that experiment that I mentioned earlier on whether or not it's important to let a steak get up to room temperature before cooking it. Or if you could just take it out of the fridge and get going right away. The gas grill that I have is a beast with a really, really thick lid. So oftentimes it does challenge wireless thermometers because of that enclosure. But this probe had zero issues and again, same results as the previous model, which is fantastic because I really love the previous model. I've also done a beer can chicken using my charcoal grill, the Weber Master Touch Premium, which came out again, very delicious, incredibly moist. There's something about smoking chicken that always gets me. It's one of my favorite things to cook. I did, however, run into issues here, and I'm going to talk about them more in the next segment. So stick around. What I can tell you right now is the probe will help you get the desired results that you want with great food, no question about that. Now let's talk about the range a bit more. Finally, it's a really important feature to me because I'm always running around the yard or inside the house and it's important that I stay connected. Now, of course, if I'm doing a 17 hour brisket, I'll connect to a Wi-Fi bridge or the meat sticks bridge and get that anywhere connection, but oftentimes I'm truly a minimalist and it's nice to know that the unit itself, the base unit, can handle stuff around the house on its own. With the original unit I reviewed last year, it blew the competition away when I put them head to head against each other without any additional devices or bridges or anything like that that would help connect to the internet with no connection loss or issues with the meat stick. I love that about the meat stick products. Like I said, I really think they invest their money and resources into performance and reliability of the product. And you can clearly see it here. But like I've mentioned before, there was a couple of hiccups. While I was cooking the beer can chicken, I had placed the magnetic base on the other side of my side table. And then I went to go sit down on the bench and hang out with my family. There was a trash can between us and I actually lost connection. I was only about 12 feet from the base in the barbecue. So I figured maybe something's wrong or maybe the range isn't that great. I repositioned the base and everything was fine. Everything returned back to normal. I tried to reproduce the issue over and over again. It was like this one time freak issue. I never had the issue again. For the rest of the cook, I was literally walking all over my house, both outside in the yard, inside in my office, the kitchen, the bathroom, you name it, with no issues at all with the range. There was a second issue, but that had nothing to do with the range. I kept getting towards the end of the beer can chicken cook, a warning temperature of the probe is too hot or something like that. I was low and slow that day using a diffuser plate. So I know for a fact there was no open flames and I didn't move the probe. The temperatures weren't crazy. I think I was hovering around 250 or 275, something like that. But the message would appear and then go away after a few seconds. Now, towards the end, when you're crisping up the skin, 
I think I took the temperatures to around 300 or 350, something like that. And the message would pop up again and I noticed that it was happening much more frequently as I was getting towards the end of the cook with the very last few degrees left. I was shooting that day for an internal temperature of 167 and I noticed this message kept popping up at 165 and it would not go away. I even readjusted the probe and it would still pop up no matter what I did as soon as it got back to 165 towards the end of the cook. I'm not sure what happened, but again, this is a pre-production model. So I'm sure the company is gonna be ironing out the kinks. The next day, I wanted to make sure this was just a freak thing. I used it again to cook another chicken, but this time a rotisserie chicken, and I didn't experience any issues. This issue only happened with the beer can chicken, with the steak, with the rack of lamb, and the rotisserie chicken. Towards the end of the cook, actually throughout the entire cook, zero issues. So for whatever reason, maybe it's the charcoal grill, maybe it's the beer can chicken, that day, it just, had some issues. I also want to stress that these issues were happening with the new firmware update and software app update that was rolled out. So I'm pretty sure it's just a couple of kinks. This actually brings me to my next segment. Let's talk about the app. It's the same app as before and the unit pairs with no issues whatsoever. When I first got the product and decided to pair it, I was really happy to see four sensors being highlighted in the app's GUI design. I also love that you could see each readout at each sensor and a corresponding graph. You had everything that you needed, three internal sensors and one ambient sensor. From what I can tell, the three internal sensors are working together to give you an accurate nominal reading. And the software is tracking the readings to provide a better final thermal temperature and consistency in the food. It's a great concept and I was super excited to see it. There's a little bit of bad news though. After the firmware update that we received from the company, the four sensor readout was eliminated. At first I had thought that I accidentally picked up the older model or swiped out the probes or something like that, but I didn't. There's really no distinguishing feature now as far as the app is concerned between the new 4X model and the last model. I did reach out to the company and asked if this was intentional, but I have not heard back yet. I do hope that they revert back to that four sensor GUI before launch because it was fantastic and really distinguished the newer model to the older one. Overall, my review of the app remains the same. I did a video comparing the meat stick to a competitor last year. And if you are interested, I'll link it above. I think the app is a very detailed modular system with a lot of user control. So if you're someone that really likes to control things, change things around, you like that modular feeling, this is a great app and really allows you to customize things any way you want. So what do I think about this new probe from the Meat Steak Company? It's really, really cool. And I like seeing the company innovating. I think if you don't already own a Meat Steak product, this is the product to get. I really don't know about pricing yet. I don't think they've told us anything about pricing, but I think it will be competitive based on their previous products. There were some kinks to iron out, but overall, this is an innovation. I'm definitely gonna be using this as my main primary thermometer for the near future. I'll probably do an update, so look for an upcoming video. This is a really great product.